Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Bletta. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really crazy, glittery, bold Valentine's Day look. I've been calling it on Instagram the anti-Valentine's Day look or the heartbreaker look. I hope you guys enjoy this look. It's very bold, very in-your-face glittery and red, but not your standard pink and white and red look for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned if you want to find out how to create this look. I wanted to create a fun look using this Sex Bomb palette from NYX. They're amazing. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should because I just posted a swatch fest on my arm of these amazing colors. So go check that out. I am going to be using this in this uh, Valentine's Day Heartbreaker look. So what I'm going to start out with is a primer. This is the NYX Pore Filler. I'm going to apply it um, in the fine lines here on my forehead, around my mouth, and around my nose just so that the foundation I'm going to be using will sit and play nicely with my skin and not have separation anxiety. For foundation, I'm going to use a Stay Lauder Double Lightwear in Intensity 2. It's a little dark, but my decolletage and neck are a little bit darker than my face right now, so it works. I've shown you guys a couple times how I apply my foundation, so I'm going to apply it and be right back. Throwing some powder under the eyes just to make sure that any eyeshadow doesn't fall out and blend right into my skin because that would be blasphemy. And now I look like some sort of weird hippie or something. <laughs> it looks so funny. So I'm back. Yes. Finally did one eye. Very bold, very crazy, very glittery, very vampy, very smoky. So to start, here's the palette. I'm gonna take this deep black color. I'm gonna pack the color onto my lid. And as you go, just kind of softly blend it out in that corner. And then bring it underneath here a little. Now with the fluffy brush and this taupe color, I'm gonna use that to blend out the harsher edges soften them up. I'm going to go in with the red color. I'm going to just kind of bring that into this outer corner here. I'm going to bring that in to about half of the length here. Then you're going to take it underneath here into about half the halfway to two-thirds of the way in depending on the size of your eyes. Now go back to the palette and take this graphite black color in your flat brush. Go to that flesh tone color here and apply that to your brow bone and just blend out that taupe from before. I'm going into another palette and I'm taking a dark silver color. Take that into that inner corner here and blend it out into, towards the lid a little bit more and then down to connect with that red. And then I'm going to take a shimmering white color and just pop that right in to the very inner tear duct. Now for the fun part, some red glitter. This is from LA Splash and this one is called Starlight Red. I'm going to use their Splash Proof Sealer. Focus this onto the center of the lid here. Tap it towards the outer corner. Hit that and just pat it on. And then on this outer corner, just kind of tap whatever is left on the brush just to give it a little bit of a trail of glitter. And then a little bit underneath as well. Can apply some mascara and false lashes. I'm going to skip the false lashes today just because my eyes are a little irritated. I've cleaned up the face a little bit more. I have added a little bit of warm contour. For contouring I use this contour effects palette in the middle color here which is bronze. Then I use this really pretty blush sweet cheeks by Be a Bombshell. It's a nice kind of shimmery pink color. And then for the highlight I use this NYX Prismatic Shadows. I can't remember the name of this off the top of my head, so go check out my website, which is linked below in the description box. I use that, which is a like an effervescent purple as a highlight, which is kind of different. I thought I might as well be a little bit different. For the lips, I'm going to use, use Nebula by NYX. Line the lips. I'm going to paint over that with this J Cat Wonder Tint. This one is Red Potion, so it's going to add a little bit of redness to this vampy purple. So, so I added um, that gloss stuff on top and then I took some of the red glitter and patted it on top. Sorry that this camera is a little bit different. My video camera, the main one I used, died and I can't find the charger right now so I have to film this on my, my cell phone camera. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, this is definitely not a look I would wear every day 
but it's so much fun because you can just play around with makeup. This is my anti-Valentine heartbreaker look. Maybe it'll break a couple hearts, maybe it won't. Anyway, uh, leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of this look and uh, what you'd like to see next. I love you guys. Stay electric as always. Bye!